Okay, let's make the size correct. So today I want to do something a little more ambitious than my usual my usual streams. I just want to try to maybe do a multi-day painting. I don't know. We'll see how far we get, but there are multiple uh, figures here, so hopefully this will be a bit of a longer painting. But, uh, yeah, I just need to test out in general and make sure everything is working okay, as usual. There was some problems with the uh, mobile versions, the uh, save, save options dialog was getting lost a little bit, so that's been fixed. Um, still have to publish it though. But before I publish it, I just want to do a little painting and just see if I can catch anything else before publishing. Um, this painting, this picture here is by Roly six by six. You can find him on on Instagram. I think his handle is at Roly six by six. R O L L I E six X six. He has some pretty cool photos. He was a a cab driver in New York City for. Uh, a long time and he took a lot of photos of his his passengers um, but this isn't New York this this here is a photo from Ma Maputo Mozambique in uh, yeah so excited to draw this so I should probably do a drawing first before I go too too far. Gotta find a color that pops off of everything else. kind of looking at the edges of the picture to help me judge the uh, proportions of everything so for this character over here maybe if we split the picture in half it's a little bit to the right of the halfway point somewhere like there something like that get rid of that <sighs> maybe maybe I should change the background color here so I'll set the canvas, the canvas color, sorry, to black, so I can see the drawing a little better. This white shape here. It's 
pretty close to the edge of the frame. Um, one thing I really like about this picture is how a lot of the parts just disappear in into shadow, which is great for me because I'm lazy. Uh, I don't want to paint every single little thing, so this photo does a lot of the work of just hiding a lot of uh, information for us, which is always nice. This guy back here that's sort of hidden by the shadow, although already kind of off <laughs> uh, is it wide enough hmm I think this is smaller. I'm just going to draw that again because I feel like the scale of this is wrong. little triangles back here trapezoids we got all the shapes this little outline of the sky is actually one of the nicest parts or graphical parts of this image I think there's just a lot of really cool things about this image I like the tilt, how everything is like kind of um, radially um, arraying out from if we if we look at the bottom of the picture. It, to me, it looks like like this, like there's a bunch of lines just pointing down to some imaginary point down there. And and then there's such a big variety of textures and then also there's a big variety of shapes like big and small shapes and then the other nice thing that I mentioned before is just the shadows uh, hides so much so those are basically all the things that I like to to draw um, so I really wanted to try to paint this one
But since this is going to be a little bit more of a uh, complicated drawing, I want to spend some time on it and not I'm not really going to start painting for a little while. I just want to actually have a nice map of what I'm doing before I start painting cuz it's way hard to harder to move this stuff around once we start painting. So let me just do all that work now. And figure it out. Hey Joseph, have you ever thought about adding limited palette color picker? Um, yeah, a few people have suggested some sort of like gamut limited color picker. Could be cool. Um, it's it's uh, it's on on the to do list for sure. Hello, Brent. Welcome. All right. So little trick if you have a keyboard you can press E to switch between eraser and not eraser it'll pick the uh, last colored tool that you've used or I mean the last non eraser tool that you used
yeah, this uh, character up here needs to be smaller. Yeah, this picture definitely feels like a puzzle to me. There's a lot of little pieces that all have to fit together. Which it's always kind of disheartening when you do some when you start a painting, you're putting in all the shapes and then you realize, "Oh wait, nothing is fitting." You have to start over again. Um So I'm going to try to actually draw everything, at least in terms of the silhouettes, until, uh, so at least so we have a map of what, what to do.
Okay, I think maybe this is enough to start putting in some some shapes now. So let's make a new layer, stick it under. Um, maybe get this one and lower the opacity. Okay, so I'm gonna start with. I should probably start with the back and move my way up. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to break this down in the least amount of layers as possible. So I'm not sure if this will work, but um, what you can, I mean, what I'm going to try is maybe I'll put certain things on the same layer that are not touching. So um, maybe this, this green shirt here is not touching the background or the sky. So maybe we can get away with having it on the same layer let's see this, this may not make sense in the end but I'll, I'm going to try it uh, let me adjust the, the color a little bit Skin go under the shirt, probably. Maybe get rid of this layer here. I don't need that. I feel like the white uh, shirt has a bit of warmth, so I'll leave it a little bit um, on the warm side. Maybe another layer for this uh, shirt in front because it's probably going to have the most detail out of all the clothing.
moves. Should probably try to get all the get the full mask going here for the skin. So we don't have any background showing through. Probably, ooh, uh, yeah, maybe this guy's shirt should also be on a different layer, the one in the middle, because he's got a pretty crazy detailed pattern on his shirt, so let me just, here, I'll just make this one red for now, so we can tell. I'll leave this shadow in the middle um, kind of blank so that it blends with the background because I think that's kind of nice so you get the big uh, brush textures back there. Same thing with back here. I think we don't really need to mess with that. mini sandwich break and just look at it for a second and see if there's anything I want to change.
This front this front shirt looks kind of weird to me. Um, I'm a big believer in this whole drawing small thing. At least it helps me a lot to to get proportions. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just zoom out real far and draw a little bit. One thing I'm a little bit afraid of is I hope the layers don't get too complicated because jumping, jumping between layers is pretty annoying, right? So I wonder if I should have just done this whole character all on one layer, if that would be easier. Hmm. Maybe that is better. Get rid of that. These shadows under the collar are really good, uh, really juicy shadows. So make sure you get you, you you squeeze the juice out of them. So if you look look at this, look at this right here. This is a very very juicy color, right? So I need to make sure that I'm getting a juicy color over there, like that, right? And then it becomes actually cool over here, almost like purplish bluish underneath. So that's also pretty juicy. And then back here kind of looks like uh, greenish, I think. Whereas mine is a little more pinkish, so. That might be too much green, but it's the right idea, I guess.
and uh, just having this on the same layer makes it a lot easier to make these adjustments by like cutting into the shirt with the skin color or vice versa it's a lot simpler Hey Kirk, <laughs> what are you up to?
working. M making some notes for your people. I think I need to start thinking about how to simplify this because I'm remembering how little patience I have for painting. So I don't know. Yeah, be more graphic with it, I guess.
Be right back.
<laughs> uh, sure, Kirk, do you have any good shirt cuts for me? up. Is that only for... You only get those tips when you buy the DVD for ten dollars, then, then you get all the, the uh, shirt cuts. Is that how it works? Sunblum? Is that an is that an artist? I guess I should do a study of that guy at some point. He painted Santa a lot. That's what they have on his tombstone. He he he, he loved Santa. He painted Santa a lot. Um Fo Turkey. Fo Turkey. Hello. Trying to learn how to draw, but I'm always so exhausted after work. Yep. Sounds familiar. Maybe what you need is some, some, uh, what should we call it? Monster energy drink. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Yeah, I'm the same way. I I have like a limited amount of energy, <laughs> definitely, as you can tell, f 
from my from my voice and uh, work will drain it pretty quickly what about the weekends you can draw on the weekends right no That's cool, yeah. I usually get to do some drawing or painting on the weekend too. It's nice. Okay. This head looks very strange. What am I doing wrong? Oh my god. Kirk. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Kirk. 
Kirk has an extra section of his brain just for puns. Just constantly processing, searching. find doing the drawings of vehicles to be the most difficult? No, because that's what I am most comfortable doing. That's what I do the most. So it's actually the easiest thing for me. This stuff though is a bit of a struggle. forehead is getting out of hand here. And, uh,
Oh god. See ya, Kirk. <laughs>
You do or you don't or you will or won't cha. Go downtown and eat it like a vulture. See my hips and my tips so cha. See my ass and my lips don't cha. Lost a few pounds in my whips for ya. It's the kind of beat that go ba ta ta. Ba ta 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 ta. Sex me so good I say blah blah blah. Work it. I need a glass of water. Boy your oh boy it's good to know ya. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. It's your Your nails done, get a pedicure, get your hair did. Boy, lift it up, let's make a toaster. Uh, let's get drunk, it's gonna bring us closer. Uh, Don't I look like a holly berry poster? Uh, See the Belvedere playing tricks on ya. Uh, Girlfriend wanna be like me, never. Uh, you won't find a bitch that's even better. Uh, I make you hot as Las Vegas weather. Uh, Listen up close while I take it backwards. Okay, I begins to yell at me and which I I'm not a prostitute, but I can give you what you want. I love your braids and your mouth full of phones. Keep your eyes on my ba bump bump bump. You think you can handle this? Go don't go don't don't. Take my thong off and my ass go boom. Cut the lights on so you see what I can do. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. It's your permit if it's wet yet. It's your permit if it's wet yet. If you got a big, let me search it. Shame, ladies, do your thing. Uh -huh. Just make sure you are headed again. Uh -huh. Just cause I got a lot of fame, super. Prince couldn't get me, change my name, high pie. Puta can tell you, slave again, no sign. Picture black saying, oh, yes, I'm Massa. Picture Lil' Kim dating a pastor. Minute man, big red can outlast ya. Who is the best? I don't have to ask ya. When I come out, you won't even matter. Uh -huh. Why you act dumb like, uh, duh. duh. Say you act dumb like, uh, duh. As the drummer boy go, brr, up a pum, pum. Give you some, some, some of this in a bun. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. It's your permit if it's wet yet. It's your permit if it's wet yet. If you got a big, let me search it. If I know how hard I gotta work yet. It's your permit if it's wet yet. It's your permit if it's wet yet. Come on, to the fellas. I like the way you work that. <laughs>
baby. Uh -uh. Let me explain to you. I'm saying. What you saying? It's not even like that. It wasn't like that, but I saw you. Baby, I don't love her. You don't love me. She, you know what? I don't even want to talk. She to don't you. mean nothing to me. I don't want to see your face. She was just telling me. I just want to see you walking through that baby, door. Baby, nothing else to why say. Why we gotta do Peace. it like this, baby? Damn. Come home late. It seems you barely beat the sun. Tapping my shoulder, thinking you.
just getting home this evening And I need that bus and carry on, yeah Can't be off and so this evening Every time I call you on the phone Just a little bit of family dysfunction Playing space like uh, tears in my eyes when we play fight. Put all that acting out, keep the charade tight. Holidays came, we play the game up at our place. How many whips can we fit up in this driveway? How many ribs can I get on top of my plate? How many gifts did you get this year? I'll wait. Run the time my father stopped living up where I stay. Every Friday, 45 minutes on the highway. Lisa get the trip and when the liquor in the system, all anyone would ever say was drive safe. I hate y'all, but don't judge it. Cause I'ma hold you down when others are hold grudges. And we ain't gotta explain it to people that don't love us. The blues is more better, the food is more butter. You know, we just imitate what the parents show. The bad habits, the trust issues, the marriage woes. We inherit those. Until the day we have some kids of our very own. And we pass it all down like a heron bone. Can't we just get along this evening? Yes. 
realized the mic was off. Oops. It's okay, I wasn't really talking much anyway. Uh, Noah, the music is in the description. I think. It's called... This is a playlist called Painting in the Apocalypse. Oh really? It's an album? Here, yeah, I'll post it. Oh, that was from a while ago. Oops. Here, let me... Here, this is the playlist we're listening to right now. This guy's shirt is still my favorite part of this painting, I think. I think I might just leave the faces unfinished back there and maybe try to finish up this face, which to me, it's this face still looks really weird. I think the eye, the eye is too high up, right? I think that's what it is. I mean, let me duplicate this one. the whole thing and then unerase just the uh, eye Symmetry drawing is bugged. What what's happening with symmetry?
It only lets you draw on the right side. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. Um, the reason why, let me explain. The, the reason why it only lets you draw on the right side is because if you're right-handed and you're drawing on the screen, you probably want to see the mirroring happen on the left side, right? So you don't, you're not blocking the mirrored part. Um, likewise, if you put heavy paint into lefty mode, it's going to do the opposite. So depending on if you're in righty mode or lefty mode, it will mirror to the other side. So your hand doesn't block the part that you're mirroring. Um, so just change it to lefty mode if, if you're lefty. I hope that helps. Where do I put the license key? It should ask you for the key when you open the program. Um, it should have a little pop-up that says continue trial or buy heavy paint. And if you click on buy heavy paint, it'll um, have the window for you to enter the key. Or you can also go up here to the top and then near the bottom of these options, you'll see a and unlock button if it's not unlocked yet. Um, but thank you for for um, supporting it. Auto pick, come back. Yes, it will. It will eventually. <laughs> On the to do list. Auto pick is not good for you anyway, though. You should be picking your own colors. So, enjoy, enjoy the lack of it while you can. <laughs> yeah. I don't have that button and didn't get a pop-up. I downloaded Windows version from the web, but everything seems unlocked. Okay, so did did you have an older version from before? Because if it, maybe if you had the older version, it's already unlocked. Or if did you um have the old one with like a key a while ago like one of the older keys um does it say 2.1.12 windows pro all the way at the bottom of the screen of uh heavy paint 
Yes, I did, but I think it was a beta key. Beta key. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you had a really old version where, like, the super old ones were f were free, I think, and so that should still work. But uh, yeah, I guess let me know if you want a refund. <laughs> But I, I do appreciate any kind of support. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Some of you guys have been around since the beginning super old versions back when there was no undo no no layers no nothing so thanks for sticking around oh I've been meaning to make it official oh it sounds so <laughs> sounds like such a big commitment but uh thank you Soul says you use it for concept. Do you use it to like draw silhouettes and stuff? Like so you can draw, grab the background color, then grab the foreground color and like dig back and forth like that. Trap soul. Because that's that's originally what I imagined it for, but I'm I was scared that people would abuse mm -hmm. it. Um, thank you, Sisyphus, and, uh, let's see him, thank you. And yet, it has been a lot of, a lot of progress on this thing last, last year especially, I feel like, a lot of time to work on it. Yeah, I need I need to put it back in. I uh, I've been meaning to. I'll try to do that soon. But I'm glad at least at least you are using it uh, that way. I'm always afraid of adding in stuff that's gonna like make it too easy, I guess, or make it. I guess things that could be used as a crutch or things that could um, might hamper your learning process I guess but at the same time I want to add in stuff that makes it more useful for you know production work or for pros or whoever needs to get stuff done quickly but it's a uh, it's a it's tricky. Like, uh, for you guys who are new to heavy paint, layers is a kind of a recent thing, and is that's one of the big things where it was kind of a scary thing because I know a lot of people like heavy paint just because it's so simple and there's not that much stuff in it. And then when layers comes, they're like, oh, this is stupid. There's now it's becoming just like every other app and it's gonna become too complicated and blah 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 but I mean I don't know 
the, the, the reason why is because I wanted to use heavy paint to do a project and I needed to do layers on a pro on the project so now there's layers same thing with mirroring I was on working on a project needed mirroring so now there's mirroring um, but uh, yeah hopefully it doesn't get too out of hand still want it want it to be really simple in the end I like the beta for its simplicity and use it as a novelty for learning. Uh, but now it's an app I can really use for finished illustration. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for saying that because I get a lot of comments from people who are like, ah, oh, this is horrible. What are you doing? I got a very angry review the other day, guys. I wonder if I should, sh should share it someday, but it was extremely angry. The guy said that I, the developers were ruining this program and it's the worst thing ever and I used to love heavy paint but now I can't even bear to look at it and he was like one star and I've lost my will to create and all this crazy stuff I'm like oh my god that's horrible but uh but I know I mean like at the same time I can kind of see where, excuse me, where where people come from with that angle too, because simplicity is nice, you know. I simplicity is nice. So it's just uh, a bit extreme sometimes when when uh, I think the issue is like people don't know how to complain properly like if you want to complain about stuff that's fine just you can just 
email me or, or message and, and say like, hey, I don't like this. Can you change it to be like this or change do that and do that? But like just when it gets so emotional, it's really it's really tough because I like there's nothing I can say to to help help that, you know, they're so angry already. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they want help or not, but it's just, it's like, ugh. Wait, what do you do? But, yeah. Some of the fun stuff. So, yeah. It's nice to hear the good stuff, too, along with the bad. And, and, and uh, and the bad, I, like I said, the, the bad stuff is good to hear too because the other thing is, you know, sometimes if you hear negative stuff enough, then that means, you know, there's some validity to it. Even though you don't want to hear it and it's painful to hear it, it's maybe it, you know, maybe it's true. Maybe there's. It's there's something that's bothering a lot of people, then maybe it's true. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm constantly like, uh, you know, trying to f figure that out. The other thing that's really tough is when uh, I think sometimes people like to uh, use the review system of app stores as like bug reports. So instead of reporting a bug and you know like emailing and saying, "Hey, this thing is broken," they just leave a, a one-star review, and it just like tanks the review automatically. And they're like, the app is great, I love it, but it's just this one thing is broken. One star. And I'm like, fuck, can you just just email me instead and then I'll I'll fix it. Like instead of just leaving one star reviews, please. Um, I think what it is is people think that leaving uh, one star reviews is, is a good way to get themselves like pushed to the top of the list of of you know attention I guess which also I guess is true but it's it's still like a huge pain in the ass because that it like automatically tanks um, the app rating um, ratings is, is kind of tough too because you start every app starts with five stars right and let's say Theoretically, you have, um, you know, 10 people that, that really like the app. They give you a good review. And then there's one person that doesn't like it, gives you one or zero star. That actually brings you down, like, pretty far. When Even though there's way more people that like it than don't like it. So, yeah, I wish, I kind of wish maybe... I wonder if it would be good if reviews, if every app started at three stars or two and a half stars. So if, if every app started right in the middle of reviews and then you either go up or down based off of people's reviews, because the way it works now is like you, you s always start at, at the top, the, the highest possible score that you can start at and it just goes downhill from there. So it's like, I don't think that's a good way to review stuff. Anyway, that's my rant for right now. Um, sorry, you guys have to listen to me rant. <laughs> uh. uh. It's still simple UI. You can easily make a simple. 
with the current features, you can probably make it feel like even simpler again still. The tools menu is a bit intimidating. Yeah, I think I think that's true, especially on a phone. Um, the way that it displays on a phone is kind of crazy because everything is like all crammed into one menu now. So I'm actually considering maybe to go back to the old way that the tools menu was where everything was separated. Um, at least for phones, for m mobile, because there's not enough screen space, I think, to have everything together. Because this, the desktop version, I, f I feel like this is this is fine for desktop because you, you can see everything clearly, but on a phone, it stacks everything vertically and it kind of com compresses it. So it's a little confusing on a phone. Um, Don't get frustrated. I love how the app is evolving because it's fun to draw in. No, after things possible to take your art to the next level. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a thing. It's uh, it's going little by little. Smells, smells weird. Uh, blah, 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 The other tricky thing to balance is that some, uh, I mean, different people have different needs for the program too. So some people want it to do one thing and then other people want it to do the exact opposite of that. And then it's like, oh, how do we accommodate both people? But I guess that's what options are for. Um, but then there's some people who are like, I hate options. I just want it to be like, you don't it just comes out with no options and which is how the original was it had like basically zero options and that was pretty ref refreshing and kind of cool um, for people because most most drawing programs have like a gazillion options but uh, that's kind of what's slowly happening now um, yep But it's part of the process. It's it's all like the design process. It's constantly going to change, and it's never going to be perfect. Never going to be happy with it. But as long as I can keep working on it, I'm having fun. So. Yeah, as long as I can keep going, I'm happy. Yeah, I, I do think that um, when when people don't like something, they're definitely going to be more vocal. I think when people like something, they're just, they're happy, they're satisfied. Like, there's no reason for them to, to say anything, right? They're just going to use the thing and go, go along their day. Um, it's usually the angry people that write the super passionate and... Uh, long emails <laughs> but hey at least they're passionate about it I'm, I'm glad that 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 uh, 
that people feel strongly about it. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That is kind of confusing when you get, when the, b the feedback that you get is kind of biased towards the negative feedback and maybe, you know, people that do like something probably won't tell you as often. But um, I'm very, very lucky that, uh, that I am testing this thing myself. I like, I'm using it all the time. Um, so at least I can kind of feel things that are, that don't feel right or, or are annoying to use and, um, change them, um, based off my own experience too. Cause I, I imagine this would be extremely difficult to do if you were developing something like this without actually using it and just r completely relying on uh, feedback from people because it's so difficult and everybody has a different opinion like it, it would be pretty much impossible Sure, that's always a good message, I guess. <laughs> One that I need to learn too. I haven't been doing enough yoga lately. I need, need more gratitude in my life. Thanks, man.
Okay, is this face looking right yet? I think I'm making this too literal up here with the face and I'm zooming in too much it's like it's losing the looseness that I want
All right, guys. I'm going to call it here. Maybe work on this a bit more later. But uh, thank you for joining in again. See you next time. Have a good day.